Sonnets by Edna St. Vincent Millay. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. Reading by Bologna Times. 1. Thou art not lovelier than lilacs, no, nor honeysuckle. Thou art no more fair than small white single poppies. I can bear thy beauty, though I bend before thee. Though from left to right, not knowing where to go, I turn my troubled eyes, nor here, nor there, find any refuge from thee. Yet I swear, so has it been with mist, with moonlight so. Like him who day by day, and to his drought, of delicate poison, adds him one drop more, till he may drink unharmed the death of ten. Even so, inured to beauty, who have quaffed each hour more deeply than the hour before, I drink and live what has destroyed some men. 2. Time does not bring relief. You all have lied, who told me time would ease me of my pain. I miss him in the weeping of the rain. I want him at the shrinking of the tide. The old snows melt from every mountain side, and last year's leaves are smoke in every lane. But last year's bitter loving must remain, heaped on my heart, and my old thoughts abide. There are a hundred places where I fear to go, so with his memory they brim, and entering with relief some quiet place where never fell his foot or shone his face. I say, there is no memory of him here, and so stand stricken, so remembering him. 3. Mindful of you the sodden earth and spring, and all the flowers that in the springtime grow, and dusty roads, and thistles, and the slow rising of the round moon, all throats that sing the summer through, and each departing wing, and all the nests that the bared branches show, and all winds that in any weather blow, and all the storms that the four seasons bring. You go no more on your exultant feet, up paths that only mist in morning knew, or watch the wind, or listen to the beat of a bird's wings too high in air to view. But you were something more than young and sweet, and fair, and the young year remembers you. 4. Not in this chamber, only at my birth, when the long hours of that mysterious night were over, and the morning was in sight. I cried, but in strange places, step and firth, I have not seen, through alien grief and mirth, and never shall one room contain me quite, who, in so many rooms, first saw the light, child of all mothers, native of the earth. So is no warmth for me at any fire to-day, when the world's fire has burned so low. I kneel, spending my breath in vain desire, at that cold hearth which one time roared so strong, and straightened back in weariness, and longed to gather up my little gods and go. 5. If I should learn, in some quite casual way, that you were gone, not to return again, Read from the back page of a paper, say, held by a neighbor in a subway train, how at the corner of this avenue, and such a street, so are the papers filled, a hurrying man, who happened to be you, at noon to-day, had happened to be killed. I should not cry aloud, I could not cry aloud, or wring my hands in such a place. I should but watch the station lights rush by, with a more careful interest on my face, or raise my eyes, and read with greater care, where to store furs, and how to treat the hair. End of poems. This recording is in the public domain.